Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste, blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today I want to talk to you about walking with God. Walking with God is a wonderful way to experience God in your life. Simply taking a quiet walk through nature, traveling a short distance, exploring your world can make us feel more connected to God. All the sights, sounds, smells, and sensations of being out in the world, out in nature, like feeling the ground beneath your feet, hearing the sounds of the outdoors, getting a feel for how big the world is, breathing fresh air and the smells of the flowers and earth and animals. These, all these feelings and sensations tune us into a connection with the divine, with our spirit and with God. Then if we can quiet our minds or focus our minds on a question we have for God, we may hear God speak to us. It's another very beautiful way to pray. But you actually don't have to walk in nature to walk with God. We've walked with God many times down the streets of a city, around your hometown, through museums, on a stage or in a dance studio. Sometimes I like to be alone, and sometimes I'm surrounded by crowds of people. They may be loud and noisy, but that doesn't matter. What's important is that I am quiet, and I let the sounds of the town and the city around me inspire me, and I can still hear God loud and clear. There are beautiful stories in the Bible of people walking with God. Moses goes up a mountain and speaks to God. Jesus walks in the wilderness and talks to God. After Jesus' death, many of his followers were sad and missed him, and they were scared that all of his beautiful teachings will disappear or that they would never truly understand his teachings without him. They were praying for answers and help. And while they were walking, traveling from one city to another, Jesus appeared to them and talked with them. He comforted them, he answered them, he even told them to teach the world everything he taught them. These people walked with God, and God answered. And we all can do this too. We don't even need to walk. We could ride a bike, row a boat, roll in a wheelchair, swim, climb. Sometimes people don't even travel. They talk to God while exercising in their home or practicing soccer kicks or baseball throws or doing things like cleaning, gardening, sewing, painting, knitting, or sculpting. This wonderful way of connecting with God is not only in the Bible, I think it's as old as time itself. Native American religions have things called spirit walks and vision quests. Buddhists do something called walking meditations, mindful tasks, and mindful work. Hindus have yoga, walking yoga, and working yoga. And many artists of all kinds say they connect with the divine while making or doing their art. I bet sometimes when you are quiet and playing, maybe out on the playground or alone in your room, you too can walk with God, talk to God, and play with God. God is always there to talk to. Amen. All right, my children, I love you very much, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.